a heartbroken Sinead O'Connor paid tribute to her 17-year-old son Shane at his Hindu funeral. The singer's son was found dead on Thursday after he went missing from the hospital while he was under suicide watch. Taking to Twitter after his funeral, Sinead paid tribute to her beautiful angel son. We just said goodbye to our beautiful angel, Shaney, she tweeted. Very lovely Hindu ceremony. Shane will have loved it. He was always chanting Om. Shanti. I put a few packs of fags in the coffin for him in case there's none in heaven. He'll have loved that too. Om. Shanti. at Newlands Cross Cemetery and Crematorium in West Dublin. After his death, Sinead took to social media to announce the tragic news. She wrote, My beautiful son, Naveen Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby, I love you so much, please be at peace. When her son went missing from the hospital, she pleaded with Shane to contact her. smile on her beautiful face for nothing. My world would collapse without you. You are my heart. Please don't stop it from beating. Please don't harm yourself. Go to the Guardi and let's get you to hospital. This is a message for my son, Shane. Shane, it's not funny anymore all is going missing. You are scaring the crap out of me. Could you please do the right thing and present yourself at a Gardy station? If you are with Shane please call the Gardy for his safety. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mirror Showbiz Newsletter. Irish singer revealed that her son planned his own funeral before taking his own life. The nothing compares to you had threatened a hospital with a lawsuit and later tweeted about Shane's struggles. In a series of scathing tweets, she said, A month ago Shane was brought to camps, child and adolescent mental health services, after vanishing leaving suicide notes including detailed funeral plans. They discharged him. Said he had no plans. When objections were raised by the adult with him she was told planning a funeral is no different to planning a wedding. She went on to slam the mental health services and discussed how we all failed him. If you are struggling with mental health, you can speak to a trained advisor from Mind Mental Health Charity on 0300-123-3393 or email info at mind.org.uk.